on upper body defenses and counters. Now we're gonna have some real fun. We're gonna start mixing grappling with kickboxing. Okay, so I have my friend Steven, and we've talked some about how to clinch, how to work from the clinch. What if we are the one who's clinched? That's where we begin this, okay? So I'm here. Some important things right off the bat. My posture, just like in any other instance, is gonna be important here. I wanna make sure I keep my head up. If my head goes down, it's very easy for Steve to control and knee right to my face, which is not what I want at all, okay? So as soon as Steve clinches, my posture is good, okay? I'm here, I'm driving into Steve to take the onus off him throwing me around. I'm driving in, keeping my weight low. From here, I'm gonna insert my right arm, elbow into his chest, okay? Behind that, same concept with my left arm, and we're gonna, we're gonna switch sides so everybody can see. Left arm in, I grab his head, and now I clinch him, okay? Hold a good clinch, remember, if you will, hands crossed here, elbows low, okay? One more time from this angle, and we'll look at another angle. Steve has clinched me, no good for me. So I make sure I move in, keep my posture solid, keep my base solid, about shoulder width apart. From here, I insert my right arm, elbow first, followed by my left arm, elbow first, take the clinch from Steve, put him into my clinch. Okay, let's whip about one time, two times maybe. Steven has clinched me. I insert right arm, elbow deep, left arm, elbow deep, arrest his head, control. Okay, one more time, Steve's clinched me. I insert right elbow, left, up through, control Steve's head, pull him in. Okay, that's the first one. It's a bit difficult to do. A lot of times, TIE fighters will start with a drill to warm the necks up. Steve will clinch me and he'll allow me to just go through this drill. And then he'll do the same thing right back to me, okay? And the whole time, we're warming up our necks and we're working on the rudiments of clinching, okay? Pretty good drill to warm yourself up. Because again, if you're new to TIE boxing, it's very easy to, to, to hurt your neck. Make sure you warm it up properly. That's a great drill to do it, okay? The next one, this is if we're having trouble making this one work. Okay, Steven has grabbed me in a clinch, okay? Again, it's all driven by posture. If my posture's not good, Steve's gonna sling me all over the place or, or knee holes in me, okay? Don't want either one of those two, two things to happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack Steve's arm, his left arm, by coming underneath with my left arm, grabbing his, okay? Coming underneath, grabbing at about the elbow joint here. I'm gonna fold his arm in at the same time, bring my right hand up and push his face away, okay? From here I can clear and do whatever I need to do, okay? Steve's here, okay? Let's get a good clinch. Again, I'm gonna loop my left arm through, all the while maintaining good posture. I'm gonna buckle Steve's arm here. While I'm buckling it, and he's trying to recover, I take my hand, put it right in his face. Now from here, I can begin my kneeing, whatever's allowed given the rules or the etiquette of the dojo in particular. Okay, other side. Steve's come, he's got a good clinch. Again, I'm reaching left hand, underneath, buckling Steve's close arm here, driving my right arm forward here, and again, here, here, whatever, okay? One more time, please, sir, thank you. And again, slowly, driving, again, while maintaining good posture, I can't, you know, I can't overemphasize that. Coming underneath, overhooking Steve's far arm, buckling it, driving through with my arm, and doing what needs to be done. By and large, what I tend to do, just separate, maybe give him a push, Whatever, okay? Thanks, sir. Those are the upper body defenses and counters.